So let's go back. Let's have us a little war with rats. I'm not sure how this is going to go, because they've got fucking desert eagles. Yes, rats have desert eagles. Motherfuckers! Little bastards nearly killed me. There's another one. Okay, Desert Eagles and Berettas. Little bastards. Well, I suppose I best use a fucking painkiller. Good job we're going to get some more, innit? Hold it! Max! Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack! I nearly shot you! Alex. We're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Poor Alex. Oh, yeah. No, I can't deal with this right now. Please fuck off. Bricks. Oh, lovely painkillers. I wonder if these are developers. <coughs> I'd assume that. Anyway. There's lots of little things that you can do in this game. Yeah, shut up, okay? Oh, hello! Really probably should use my Desert Eagle. Another four, beautiful! Uh, that's the way to go. So let's not go that way. Oh, we have to go that way. Okay. I knew we had to go that way, but I wanted to see if they're all else. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. 
I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer? It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. No, this ain't good. Oh, I just took a shit ton of damage from that. Oh, I'm gonna die. Fuck off, Finito. finito. You are Finito. <laughs> oh, God, no. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Did it? I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right hand man, Vinny Gagnidi. Gagnidi was a high strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up, or you finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! Vigilio! You all right in there? They're not answering. Go to Tell them to come close. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now! Bosses! We're coming in! It's paint! Oh! That's not good. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Hey. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, I wasn't expecting that really. Let's go like these first. The so that'll probably be a good eye. idea. Uh, there's no in this, is there? Nope. Everything alright? Bosses! Joey! Uh, I've seen this. You're right now. They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. There he is. Nope. Not this time, sunshine. Ooh. Uh. As soon as I will fall on this, let's use uh, the old shotgun. Oh! Nice. Actually, I think I missed some upstairs. This isn't where I came from. Where is the upstairs? The there it is. I saw a button on the wall. I'm sure I did, yeah. Ah. I thought there'd be some uh something a bit more than that, but okay. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to In his press conference today. The mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. 
Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal, as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Payne's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Payne's gonna pay. He in spades. Nope. Nope. This is just gonna be locked in it. Yep, thought as much. <clears throat> right. Anything in here? Put out ammo. Beretta ammo. What are you just doing in there, sunshine? Yo. Nope. Ah. 